Hello, my name is Ken Irvin. I'm the chair of the Aquatic Ecosystems Group at UNESCO IHE. And today I'm representing a wider group of researchers in the theme of water and ecosystems quality. The theme encapsulates not just aquatic ecosystems, but also the hydrology and water resources, the physical processes that, that go on uh, within the aquatic ecosystems, and water governance. These three aspects link very well with the pillars of sustainable development, the environmental pillar, the social pillar, and the economic pillar. Current research uh, ranges uh, from studies on pollutant transport, nutrient cycles, ecosystem services, and good governance. It includes projects on fisheries management in Lake Victoria, uh, sediment and pollutant transport in uh, catchments in Ethiopia, wetland processes and livelihood support in, in Kenya, and, uh, and basic ecosystem functions and processes in, in a range of different wetland types. It also includes studies on coastal uh, as well as inland pollution. This is an example of a polluted river in Zambia. The water was blue because of cobalt pollution, and that river is used by small boys uh, who catch fish, and those fish then enter the local food chain. Those fish also have high concentrations of heavy metals uh, in them. So the aquatic ecosystems research theme covers pollutant transport, ecohydrology, including nutrient recycling, heavy metal processes, or the processes of heavy metals transport through the ecosystems, and the pressures and impacts on those aquatic systems. And it also includes research and advice on policy and livelihoods. One project I'd like to, to illustrate, uh, the work that goes on within the aquatic ecosystems theme, is the uh, work recently on wetlands uh, in Kenya to do with the function and the integrated use of papyrus wetlands for livelihoods includes fundamental processes of hydrology, governance systems of stakeholder participation, and ecological monitoring. We also do quite a lot of work on geochemical cycling. This is an example of some work that we do on organic matter cycling and nitrogen cycling. Nitrogen is a hugely important element in terms of global sustainability because of the large emissions of nitrous oxide to the atmosphere and because of its powerful uh, greenhouse gas effects. So we do this work in order to try to understand the processes to provide some of the solutions, particularly in the developing world. But you cannot have research without education, and we have programs in UNESCO IHE that links the research output to educational programs. We have joint programs with a number of partners across the globe, and particularly in terms of aquatic ecosystems, we have a joint program in limnology and wetland management with partners in Kenya, in Egerton University, and in Boku uh, in Austria. Our outreach uh, in includes a fora and discussion groups on trying to uh, translate research uh, into, into policy developments. This is an example of a, uh, of a large meeting we had this year Wetlands Wise Use Smart Plans that was held in Kigali, which brought together over 100 uh, active participants in wetland management across the continent of Africa. 26 African countries were represented at that meeting. Looking forward, we uh, are recently in involved in guidance with United Nations Environmental Program on uh, water quality uh, standards. We've recently run workshops on linking the valuation of uh, freshwater ecosystems uh, with uh, wise use. And we have just had a special issue produced uh, in wetlands ecology and management for which staff at UNESCO IHE were guest editors. A recent development which we're very excited about has been the signing uh, between the Ramsar Secretariat, Charles Sturt University in Australia, and UNESCO IHE uh, for a chair uh, in the wise use of wetlands. So the, 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 the chair has just been approved. Uh, Max Finlayson from Australia will take up the position. And this will help us uh, propagate and promote uh, research and education across wetlands globally. Thank you very much.